You hear that way in America? Here in Southern California, we call that the Santa Anas. They blow in hot from the desert, stirring up dust, starting wildfires. Some people say it's a sign of an earthquake coming. The Santa Anas just shake things up. All America, I can feel it. A force of nature coming that I have no control over. A force of nature. Listen. Um, Uncle Bernie? Yeah? I'd like to make a proposal. You're not getting a cell phone. At least hear her out, honey. All right. Let me in. Come on. OK, the cell phone would only be for emergencies. Mm -hmm. Like if I was out with my friends and couldn't make it home in time for curfew, you wouldn't have to worry. Well, I have to admit, she makes a strong argument. Thank you. You're welcome. But this is where it falls apart, Nessa. First of all, you won't be out late. And if you are, you don't want to need to worry. Just talk on win. Oh. Just talk on win. Hey, big brother. Look what the wind blew in, baby. What the hell you doing here? I got to have a reason to come see my people. Come here, come here, girl. Oh, big. Oh, Let me get this. Come on. Hey, hey, look who came in. Let me see it. Ooh. Who are you? The man of steel? I am. I even have a cape. All you got to do now is get a job, and them ladies will be all over you. Look at this one. She's so pretty, and you so grown up. What are you now, honey? A supermodel? Show one. Come on, girl. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Would you like something to eat? I know that ain't swine. Yeah, it's pork chops. Hook me up. <laughs> Get you a chair. Come on in here, girl. My sister here. See what I'm saying about those Santa Anas? My baby sister, Benita. She's a force of nature, all right. And you know the saying, keeping it real? Oh, she's a genuine thing. She's a little on the wild side, but she's all mad. Back in the day, we had some good times. America, so glad to see her. I miss her. <laughs> So here I am. I'm sitting at the Juarez border. Six illegals in the back of my Datsun honeybee. A hundred dollar bill poking out of my passport, waiting on the man to check my trunk. And I think to myself, girl, what are you doing taking care of Lupe and her family when you got your own family? OK, you're all my family. So here I am. So are you thinking about moving to LA? Mm-hmm. It might be time to go on and put some roots down. Plus, I like being near Stacy's kids. Oh, I miss that. I know. So, why don't you stay here? For what? <laughs> Live here. <laughs> Bernard don't want me living up in his house. <laughs> I'll take care of my baby. Your family. Come, come, come on now. Come, come on now, baby. Let, let us speak our mind now. Huh? Don't listen to him, Benita. You stay here as long as you need to. Of course you can. We're family. I don't mind you staying here. But you ain't got no illegals in your trunk, do you? Me? Yeah. Illegal what? <laughs> 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 I'm gonna go to bed. I'll let y'all catch up. All right, baby. All right. <laughs> you old joke. America, here all you need to know about my baby sister. This one time, she was about 14 years old. You know, act the fool, sassy Big Mama about a curfew. Big Mama said, when you have a child, you can make up all your own rules. Three hours later, she came back with a baby. It wasn't hers. She borrowed it from a friend. Just to make a point, she handed the baby to Big Mama and said, I'll be home when I be home. But Big Mama beat her down. She was laughing the whole time, though, but she beat her down. <laughs> That girl was crazy. She, I don't know if the baby ever went back. Oh, OK, now you're making stuff up. That's all right. I'm making up in the morning. I can't drink no more of this. Mm -mm. Wait a minute. The morning, look. The bar is uh -uh, still come open. Come on, B. I can't do that no more. I'm a different life now. I need my eight hour. Mm -hmm. But no, right. Come on. Come on, Bonita's in town. And how often do you get to party with your baby sister and the captain? <laughs> mm. Come on now. Come on now. Mm. Uh, oh. All right. Come on. All right. Just a little more. Just a little more. Just a little more. That's it. That's, That's it. Just a little more. Come on now. Come on now. I'm going to be in a coma in the morning. There you go, baby. And Benita, can you come to my play? You going to play? What play is it? Snow White. I play a squirrel. I wanted to be Snow White, but I wasn't good enough. Please. It's not because you wasn't good enough. You ain't white enough. They ain't going to let a little black girl be Snow White. I'm brown. 
you black, and Snow White is white, right? They got a little white girl playing her? No, Melanie's playing her. Is she white? Yes. All right, then. Baby girl, why you let me oversleep like that? Wake you up. I got to take you to school. Call your brother and sister. Come on. Jordan! Vanessa! Morning, Mr. Lefko. How you doing? Oh, Mr. Matt. Good to see you. <laughs> Good to be seen. Here's your star squirrel. There's Melanie. Melanie Snow White. I can't be Snow White because I'm black. Mr. Mack, I assure you that that is not true. I know. I know. Is Melanie White? Whoa, let, um, Ms. Lefko, I'm so sorry about Baby girl, where you get that mess from? Aunt Bonita. Um, look, you go, go, go on, go on in there. <laughs> Baby girl don't need to hear nothing about that. What the hell was B thinking? Remember what I said about Santa Ana's coming in starting brush fires? Now, I gotta go put this one out. B, I had to talk to baby girl a whole hour about race. I don't even want her thinking about that right now. I was just trying to tell her the truth. There's other way to tell the kids the truth without being so blunt. That's the way we learned it and we turned out okay. Okay? B, I appreciate what you're trying to do. I don't want my kids to grow up too fast. Are we cool? I'm always cool. I'm not the one with the issues. I just came to help out. The other ways you can help it'll be more appropriate. I don't need All right, everybody, come get it while it's hot. Don't just stand there, baby. Fix yourself a plate. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Good morning. Ooh. Anita. Uh, close my roll. <laughs> oh, oh, girl, nobody tripping. We all family. <laughs> You're hanging out. Have a good um, day. Okay. Booby never hurt nobody. Booby feed the world. You want some more eggs? Uh-huh. Hey, hey, what's going on? Nothing. Just trying to be helpful. I heard that. This look nice. Real nice. Uh-huh. Ow! Okay, girl. It's just you and me. Give me the real deal. How you like living here with your uncle, girl? You mean Bigfoot. <laughs> we used to call him Little Ear. <laughs> Uh, he has so many rules. I mean, he monitors all my calls, and sometimes I can hear him breathing on the phone. I have a six-year-old's curfew, and I'm the only girl in school without a cell phone. Oh, that's messed up. Look at that, America. I'll be doggone. My sister B got her door laundry. She's good people. But does he? Your uncle means well. He is doing the best he can. You yeah. You're right. I am. If I do, my best. You got sick. God knows he don't have no sense. I mean, what is he worried about? It ain't like that phone gonna make you pregnant, okay? We gonna get you a cell phone. Ooh, and we gonna get one of those cute little fur leopard covers. Oh, girl, you gonna be ah, Let's go. But Uncle Bernie said I can't have a phone. But Aunt Bonita said you can, okay? Girl, you listen to me. Don't listen to him, honey, because I'm gonna have Hey, Joe, don't stand up with the refrigerator door open. Let all the coal out. Aunt Bonita made dessert. Oh, yeah? What you make? Oh, Jello. It's always ready for Jello. I'm so glad I'll be here, man. You like a being there, boy? Mm-hmm. Jello. Wow. Careful. Watch those grubby feet. I just mopped. Oh, I appreciate it, sis. Hey, baby girl. How was school? Fun. We learned about Rosa Parks. She was black, and she sat in front of the bus. That's right. And when they told her to move, she said no. And thanks to her courage, things changed, and now we can sit anywhere we want to. Can we even drive the bus? Honey, we can even own the bus company. You know, America, now that's teaching, baby girl. I couldn't have said it better myself. Even though they should be giving us the bus company. Giving us the buses? I gotta get you up on reparations. Now that you've each chosen a country, we're going to discuss longitude and latitude. <laughs> a little riddle for you, Mr. Mark. What's black and white and red all over? A nun whose bosom has been accosted by a demented ten-year-old boy. 
Come on, Fall, I'm just as shocked as you are. Sister Mary is a 60-year-old servant to the Lord. I mean, if the boy had wanted to touch a holy relic. We have the jawbone of St. Bartholomew in the narthex. I don't know what to say. Obviously, the boy need to be punished. In the old days, he'd lose his hands. But I'm not going to punish the boy. He'll get his in the afterlife. Oh, I can't wait that long, Father. I'm sick, I'm burning. I'm Mm-mm. sick. I need help. Now, calm down, calm down, son. Just tell me what the heck were you thinking about. I don't know. I can't stop thinking about movies since I saw Ambonita. Don't. I didn't try to. They were just there. I saw them at breakfast, and now all day, I just can't stop thinking about boobies. Jordan, you too young to be thinking about boobies, especially on Bonitas. I gotta think this out, son. You might be damaged for life. Hmm. They were nice. Feel nice. Bonita, a bad influence. That's what she is, a bad influence, America. And I knew it. I just didn't want to believe it. Groping a nun. All let the boy squeeze Bonita. See how she likes it. That's biblical justice. And I for an eye. A T for a T. Look here, B. All I'm saying is inappropriate for you to be walking around with your robe open, your business out, in front of that little boy. It's not the project. You should just be glad he's interested in women. Look, B, you're not listening to what the hell I'm saying. I'm saying it's the right way to raise your kid and it's the wrong way to raise your kid. You trying to say I don't know how to raise kids? I'm not saying that. I help make those kids who they are today. What? Or did you forget who was going over to Stacy's house taking care of them while you was off chasing your dream? What they got to do with it? I was the one going over there changing diapers while you was running around in a comedy club with a crazy pants and a flat top yelling, kick it! Oh, okay, I see it. Kick it! Knock, knock, who's there? Not your Uncle Bernie, because he ain't got no time for y'all. He's kicking it. That's not true. How you scared of you? Who you with? Not them kids, because they was with me. Put that in your hat. You just cover yourself up around these doggone kids. Making fun of my act. Who are you with? I ain't scared of you. Kick it. Auto. Let's move on. That stuff made me who I am today. Wanda, she got to go. She got to go. Oh, honey, stop overreacting. She's just not used to being around kids. You can't blame her for being... What? Ignorant, immature, and ghetto? And your sister. She cares about those kids, and those kids care about her. And so do you. And that was your ignorant, immature, ghetto-ass sister. You want her out. But she's not. (laughs) I don't even know why I talk to her. She don't offer no comfort. I need someone to a non-agree like you do, America. Right? (laughs) Thank you. Come on, let's go. Come on, Amy. Okay, sweetie, I'll be right back. I gotta get a different kind of pan, okay? Jordan, Jordan, hey, baby. Hey, honey. Short, don't hit that button, just hit record. And when you do that, red light will come on. And when you do that, you look through the viewfinder. Now remember, don't start taping until your sister hit the stage. Is that red light on, boy? Uh uh-uh. uh. All right, good. Hey, that's mine! No, it's not, it's mine. Because I'm black and you got makeup for a lot of mean stuff. What? Reparation. Now go get me a cupcake because I'm black. <laughs> hey, hey, what's going on? She hurt my feelings. Brianna, what did you say? I told him to give me a cupcake because I'm black. Like you taught me. That's not what I meant. And I never told you to be mean to your friends. I was just trying to tell you a little bit about our history. Now you apologize. Sorry. It's okay. Come on here. Give it, give it. Come on. All right, America. I may have been a little too quick to judge. She did the right thing. My sister can be a little headstrong. Maybe a little, yeah, ignorant. But she's a Mac. She's family. And I should give her the benefit of the doubt. Right? Right. You got a phone? I told you you didn't have no damn phone. I got a phone. Shh. I told you you can't have no phone. Shh. Don't be sure. Why everybody should me? It's a bull. Shh. Where's part is next? Oh, Mr. Squirrel, I'm trying to reach an apple, but they're ever so high. Can you climb the tree and pick one for me? 
Pity yourself. I'm not your slave, Snow Whitey. B, you know I told Nessa she can't have no phone. She's the only girl in her school without a cell phone. Why you got a trip? I don't care, B. I said no. What if it's an emergency or something? No. I think you're wrong. And about what you think. You ain't hearing me. And I know you got a million arguments, but I got one. And what I say goes. She already got two pairs. We don't need three. B, look. I know you care about the kids, and you're a good one. But you're not the parent. That's my job and Wanda's job. And baby, those are the rules. And if you're going to stay here, B, you got to respect the rules. OK. I'm really going to miss you. Oh. How come you leaving? Honey, your auntie got this great opportunity in Oregon. See, this friend of mine got this gig recycling tires and turning them into slippers. She needs somebody to handle operations. She ain't got no people skills. Are you coming back? Oh, of course I'm coming back. And I'll even bring you guys some slippers. What size y'all wear? Good Lord, Jordan. Look at those feet. You know what they say about men with big feet? <laughs> they say they got big feet. Don't be a stranger. Call me. Hey, little sister. Take care, yeah? Mm. Uh, uh, no, come on now. Come on now. Come on. Your house. Your mm. rules. Right back. Things are back to normal, America. The winds have calmed down and all the fire seems to be out. No smoldering embers. See, good parenting take careful attention. So be careful what goes into your children's head or what goes into their ears, and especially what goes in front of their eyes. Hold on a minute. Jordan, turn that down. I want your play. Oh, okay. I approve. See, that's good parenting, America. Good night. That's Kenny's mom. Wow, I gotta make friends with Kenny now. Well, what do we have here? Come on, come on, turn around, turn around. There it is. That's right. <laughs> I am so sick. Man. Mr. Mack, another riddle for you. What do you say? Oh, well. Dos sombreros. I know what you're thinking. Headlights. I can't read your thoughts. I know where you live. And I know what you've got in your liquor cabinet. <laughs> 